Hey friend, I said I never would, but I am changing my watercolor supplies. What? So this might be surprising, maybe catch you off guard, maybe be confusing to some of you, especially if you've been following this YouTube channel for, or my Instagram for a long time. I've been using Winsor Newton Legion paper. I'm not switching my brushes. Love my Princeton's. Um, but I've been using those brands for a very long time and I've been obviously very uh, um, adamant about people using them saying I would never switch. However, never say never as Justin Bieber says. And so I am changing. I'm changing the paint that I'm using and I'm changing the paper that I'm using. I have very good reasons. And um, my encouragement too, before I get into why I'm changing, if you just bought or you've been working with Windsor Newton or these other brands that I've mentioned throughout this the life of this YouTube channel, don't worry. I'm not gonna tell you to like, you have to go out and buy these new supplies work through what you have and then maybe test out if you want to what i am switching to i highly recommend it because they are bomb i am switching to my mary paint Woo! love their colors i am actually going to do a huge video where i do a swatch of every single one of their my mary blue colors and every single one of their gouache colors so you can kind of get some visuals and i'm not saying you absolutely have to switch but i definitely recommend testing it out and in this video i do a side-by-side -side comparison of a few of the colors that i do have for my mary at, the, at this time next to some windsor newton ones just so you can see they're both high quality paints um and there's a lot of different colors in my mary in the brand my mary that i'm really excited about so and then I'm also switching paper. So if you've also been around for a while, then you would also know that I've been using Legion Stonehenge Aqua cold press paper and still love that paper, still very high quality paper. Um, but I am, I'm currently moving over to St. Cuthbert's Mill Saunders Block, uh, cold press, 100% cotton, all the things that you look for in a high quality watercolor paper. But today we're just gonna go over some of my Mary watercolor, my Mary blue and compare it to some Windsor Newton. So if you wanna check it out, let's let's do it. So I have a couple of the tubes of the My Mary Blue, which is my preferred um, category of My Mary watercolor pigment. Uh, a couple colors in tubes and then 36 colors in this pan set. I've said multiple times on different YouTube videos before that I do not like painting with pans. Um, and so I'm waiting on a bunch of tubes of my Mary. I'm actually ordering every single color and I'm gonna test them out. And because I'm not quite sure yet because I've been using Windsor Newton for so long, um, which colors are gonna be kind of matches and the, the colors I'm, specific colors I'm switching to. But once I do that, um, I'm gonna have it in a palette, a travel palette like this because pans are just so small. And so, you know, using a big, you can't use a Mottler brush or a wash brush to pick up paint um, in these pans. They're way too small. You're gonna get all the neighboring colors and they just move around too much. They're great for travel, um, but I prefer not working in pans like this. I prefer getting the tubes and then putting it in a, in a separate palette. If you have been following me for a while, you know I've been using Windsor & Newton and recommending Windsor & Newton for such a long time. Uh, the main reason why I'm switching is because of the synthetic ingredients. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm kind of a health nerd. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, highly recommend. But anyways, I'm just not looking to inhale synthetic ingredients at all times. Um, I'm trying to minimize the amount of synthetic ingredients. So anyways, so the my Mary Blue, it's pigment and gum arabic, essentially, is all that's in it. And um, so it's more pure. And then it also doesn't have the synthetic blending agents like most other brands will have. Nothing wrong with the colors of Windsor & Newton or like, you know, the actual way it works on paper. Um, so if you are still working with those, run your course with them. And if you wanna test out My Mary, test it out. I highly recommend when you're ready to switch over. Um, but that's one of the main reasons why I'm switching over. And again, once I get all of the colors of my Mary sent to me, um, I'm gonna be doing a huge video where I do a swatch of all of them. But this color is a color that I've 
with Windsor Newton would mix up with Opera Rose and some Prussian Blue and maybe some Brown um, to get this like yummy pinky purple. It's called Quinacridone. Quinacridone. <laughs> Quinacridone Lake. Uh, it's an Italian brand, so we don't we don't really know how to pronounce some of these words. But one of my favorite, all-time favorite colors that I have from my Mary is called One of my all-time favorite colors, though, that I've been working with from my Mary is their ultramarine blue. It is so delicious. And the pigments themselves are a little bit different feeling than the Windsor Newton ones, they're like a little bit like uh, creamier, which I really like, especially since I've been working with watercolor inks. But it's like kind of egg yolky feeling. So a little bit creamier, less dry feeling with most of these colors. But look at how delicious that ultramarine blue is. Kind of similar to cobalt, a little bit more bright. Well, I don't have ultramarine blue from Windsor Newton. I have cobalt though. This is like a little bit more of a milky blue than an ultramarine. So this is Windsor and Newton. It's cobalt blue. I don't have ultramarine blue from Windsor and Newton. So cobalt's a little bit more milky than ultramarine. So, but you're looking at not just the color, but also the transparency, how it's blending because I'm doing a dark to light value. How it's blending, this one is blending so smooth. There's no hard lines or like obvious bloom edges. Same with down here. Um, we have a obvious hard line here, but that could have also been how I was bringing the water in. So it's a very high quality paint. Both of them are high quality paints, obviously. Um, it's just a difference in the, in the ingredients slightly. And then they also, My Mary has a huge, like kind of just more fun and vibrant range of colors. So I don't have a color that is a match to this in my palette for Windsor Newton, but something somewhat similar is Opera Rose, probably mixed with some Scarlet Lake and some purple, but we're just gonna, just for side-by-sides, very different colors obviously light fastness and whatnot is also very different, but just for the sake of having evenness. So another color that I've been really loving from my Mary, this one's called Orange Lake. I've been looking for a replacement for cadmium orange for quite a while. And my Mary's ranges of oranges are really vast. And so I've been loving their orange ranges. But the reason why I've been wanting to switch from cadmium orange is because of the cadmium in it, which is highly toxic. Cadmium is super toxic and I've known about that for a while now um, and just haven't made the switch. It's just one color in my palette. Um, but just the more and more serious I get about being, about my health um, with my autoimmune diseases and stuff the more important it is. I'm literally painting pretty much all day, so I'm in inhaling these colors all day. So definitely want to be, would rather be safe than sorry, you know? So cadmium orange is a little bit more yellow in it, so it's more in these ranges of oranges from my Mary, so I'll do a comparison of those two. But I love this reddish orange. It's kind of like a poppy orange. So a little more yellow in cadmium orange. So here is the more correct match. This golden yellow or even gambage. So here's another orange from my Mary that's closer to cadmium orange from Windsor Newton. Gambage. There you go. A 
love, love that orange so much. So this sandal red is super yummy. So you guys know I love Scarlet Lake. This is gonna be a really yummy, vibrant red. Definitely not quite a match to Scarlet Lake, but we can get there with mixing. So here's the sandal red. And then next to that, we'll put Scarlet Lake. So this has a bit more like orange in it. So a mix of these two colors would get you there, which I'll do. So all, pretty much all the colors in most brands will have blending agents um, or other synthetic ingredients, but My Mary just has in this My Mary Blue. Um, the pigment in Gum Arabic, there are certain colors that have cadmium in them, <clears throat> um, which I will not be using, but. Getting close. So that's my Mary colors. We did the Orange Lake, Sandal Red, and this pink, which I believe is the La Calquina Cridone. Let's test out some greens. This green is really fun and uh, kind of like an olivey green. It's called Green Gold. And I've been loving, um, using this like muddy chartreuse color almost uh, is the vibe. I don't have a match for it in my Windsor Newton colors to compare. And for that reason, it's a newer color that you've maybe been seeing in my work, but it's so cool. Especially in the more transparent values, like these lighter values with more water, it gets so vibrant and crazy. I love it. It's like highlighter green gold. And then you can obviously make it more green by mixing in a different green with it. Um, but I don't even think I could get to that hue because it's almost neon uh, with my Winsor Newton colors just mixing. So I would probably do sap green and some lemon yellow deep. Maybe some yellow ochre to get close, but we're not gonna get the neon highlighter values. Needs more yellow ochre. So yeah, it doesn't even get close. Cause neon colors are very difficult to mix by hand. It's almost impossible. And so this like undertone highlighter yellow is really magical in that green gold from My Mary. Love that color. Raw Sienna. So Windsor Newton has a raw Sienna color. I've, I don't have it in my palette, but it's similar, just a little bit darker than yellow ochre. Again, my Mary, I like, I've been liking a little bit more because of the ingredients and also just the creamy, creamy texture. So to compare, this isn't raw sienna, but yellow ochre. Definitely love yellow ochre and will be excited to try my Mary's version when I get all the colors. This color is called primary blue or cyan. So I'm gonna, ooh, that's nice. I haven't tried this color yet. So let's see see it on paper. Whoa. Ooh, that's nice. Wow. That's a good color. It's like almost turquoise in the transparent values. Again, no direct match to that with my Prussian or with my Winsor Newton colors, but 
probably something in between phthalo turquoise and Prussian blue. That's a really cool color. New fave. Yeah, this won't even, it won't even compare, but this was my go-to blue from Windsor. Very different blue. Still love this color, but we've got, we've got some matches, some matching to do with my Mary and we'll find it. So obviously these are both high quality pigments. Um, these brands are both excellent. Um, I'm making my switch because of the ingredients. I'm ma also making my switch because the range of really fun, vibrant colors is more apparent in my Mary. I also really like the texture of my Mary. And honestly, these two colors alone, <laughs> um, and this one, Orange Lake, those three colors are kind of the biggest draw for me at this point. Um, I'm getting the full range of my Mary Blue soon. Um, so I'll be able to test out all the colors and really get into which colors I'm gonna use in my new palette. Um, but those are the main reasons. We obviously did a side-by-side -side of My Mary and Windsor Newton, except this color was a mixture of My Mary's to get it close to Scarlet Lake to show you. Um, a value scale, so you can see the darker values and the lighter values of both. Obviously not every single color is a correct match because I still need a lot of the colors from My Mary um, that I ordered. So. Um, we will be doing that in a separate video, but it's just to show you that these both have a really full body range of values within the, the within the pigment. Um, and just to show you what the colors actually look like. Obviously love green gold. I love this blue, um, the primary blue. I love the orange lake. I love all of these colors and I still love the colors from Windsor and Newton, but obviously the reasons that I stated for ingredients and texture are the main reasons why I'm switching. And then I also switched paper. So I have been working on Legion paper for a long time. And before that I was working on Arsh and uh, cold press and Fabriano cold press paper. This paper is actually made from the same mill. St. Cuthbert's mill is a um, similar mill to Arsh. And so it's a very similar texture, but it's kind of, in my opinion, just from my use, I could be wrong about this technically, but just from my experience on this paper, it kind of feels like a blend between Arsh paper and Fabriano. Um, so it's not super duper rough texture, even with the cold press Arsh paper, I feel like it's extremely rough um, as Arsh. It's like a blend between Arsh texture and Fabriano cold press paper. So I really like it. Um, the lifting, the staining, the, all of the, all of the things that you look for in high quality paper are here in this paper and it's not as expensive as Arsh or some of those other more expensive papers. So I really like this. And another reason why I wanted to switch papers was because of its availability worldwide. So a lot of people would write to me and ask like, where can I find a similar paper to Legion paper? You recommend Legion paper all the time and it's not available in my country or whatever. And this paper, from my research anyway, seems to be available um, everywhere. So check it out. I'm obviously sticking with all the brush, the brushes that I've been using, Princeton 4050 series, um, round brushes. This is, you know, my go-to brand. This brush is actually a Princeton prototype, top secret, um, because as you guys have been seeing on here, I've been using filbert brushes a whole lot more. And Princeton has a couple filbert brushes, one in their Velvet Touch series, I think it's a size eight, and then um, uh, one in their Blue Handle series, I forget the name of it. Uh, but I wanted something that had a little bit more of like a rounded corner square shape and uh, just a bigger size. And so I've been working with Princeton, the CEO of Princeton, to come out with a brush with them that fits all those needs. So stay tuned. So this was a sample that they sent me from their brush maker in Japan, and I've been testing it out and it's perfect. So this will be coming out soon. Stay tuned, um, but staying with my, my beloved Princeton brushes because they're the best. There you go. Let me know if you've ever tried Mary Mary, what you love about it, or if you work with a different brand or if you've found any other brands that are uh, clean-ish. I would love to hear your thoughts. So let me know in the comments below. And if you would love, if you, 
And if you'd like to learn more about watercolor, we have a ton of free res resources here on this YouTube channel. One of our top videos, The Complete Beginner's Guide to Watercolor, is about a two hour long, awesome, in-depth watercolor class for free here on this YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. And then if you wanna go even deeper with your watercolor, then check out my Patreon. I have basically an art school with monthly exclusive tutorials, live Q and A's, live painting classes. And it also comes with a art community where we have hundreds and hundreds of people who are active, posting their work, getting feedback, sharing encouragement with each other, meeting new friends in the art watercolor community. And I'm in there as well, providing feedback on things and tips and tricks. So check it out, generating.com forward slash Patreon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.